Hello everyone, in this video we have this interesting problem. We have x to the power 12 plus x to the power 6 is equal to 4. And we have to find the real solution to this problem. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First, I'll write this x to the power 12 as x to the power 6 or to the power 2 then plus x to the power 6 and this is equal to 4. Now from here I'm gonna let x to the 6th power equal to y, where y is greater than 0. That means y should be positive, okay? So this equation now becomes y to the second power plus y is equal to 4. Now let's equate everything to 0. So we have y to the second power plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. And now you can see we have a nice quadratic equation, but it is unfortunate we can't use factoring method for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve it, okay? So we have y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 into 1 into negative 4 or divided by 2 times 1. Great. Now let's go ahead and then simplify this. We have y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1. Then we have negative 4 times 1 is still negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4, that is positive 16. So we have plus 16 here, all divided by 2. And this is the same as negative 1 plus or minus square root of 17 over 2. So this means that we have y is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2 or y is equal to negative 1 negative square root of 17 over 2. But guess what? We said y should be greater than 0, okay? And if you look at this equation, you can see that this is less than 0 because of this whole thing, okay? So this means that we are not going to consider this y value, okay? Now let's focus on this one. We have y is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2. But don't forget that y is equal to x to the sixth power, okay? So when y is equal to this, we have x to the sixth power is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2. Right, we are looking for x, so let's take 6 root on the both side. So we have 6 root over here. Great. And I'm going to introduce plus or minus here because from this original equation, you can see the powers are even numbers. So negative value of x can still work, okay? Now straight away, this 6 will cancel this 6 root. Now we have x is equal to plus or minus. 6 root of negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2. Okay, so this implies that it is either x is equal to 6 root of negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2 or x is equal to negative 6 root of negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2. And if you type this on a calculator, we have x approximately equal to 1.07711 or x approximately equal to negative 1.07711. So guys, this is our final answer. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.